In the following tutorial, we're going to take a look at using pre -oop code to control our timelines with these current frames um, buttons that we have here. Now we're going to be doing something a little different with them, which is adding a repeating event to them um, a little bit later. And we're also going to have some troubleshooting that we're going to have to do with this, which we're going to show you how we can troubleshoot um, any action script being applied twice. So anyway, let's start. Um, and what we're going to do is create a new section which right now is going to be underneath our mouse handler 2 which was our case code so I'll create a comment here which is control anims with current frame and let's create our first function will be control anims now what we're gonna have are the three variables that we need which are the button to click on the movie clip to stop and um, the amount that we're going to be changing now I'm not going to use strict data typing just so we can make sure that we keep our code in one line but you can of course but I'm gonna have the button then we're gonna have the my timeline which we're gonna control and my um, num frames so I'm using my on all of them just so you know that those are names that you give them and we can do the void if we want then we'll go underneath and and finish our curly bracket now I'm gonna do just the very first one which is controlling um, the uh, the left mouse button so that actually when we just hold down our mouse um, it will repeat the event one single time so the first thing that we need is a function inside which is going to be our mouse down and you'll notice that mouse down by itself is actually a keyword so we can't use that so uh, something that you see pretty often is mouse down handler or mouse click handler or something like that so this is going to have an event which is a mouse event then I can do the colon void go down a couple lines finish my curly bracket and inside this mouse down handler what we're gonna do is make the the current timeline go backwards a number of frames so we're gonna use go to actually my timeline dot go to and stop and then instead of putting an actual number in here or a string or anything like that we're actually going to put um, kind of a mathematical formula so we'll do my timeline dot current frame minus or, or sorry plus my num frames that means if my num frames is a positive number then we'll add that many number to our current frame and if it is a negative number then it will subtract from the current frame so now that we have that function now what we want to do is I'm going to just expand that out a little bit create our event listener so we'll have my button dot add event listener that'll be a mouse event dot click oh sorry not click because this is going to be a mouse down now that I think about it then we'll run the mouse down handler now we need to invoke that function and we'll do that by copying the control anims pasting it underneath and I'll paste it twice because I know what I'm gonna do is first use the first button that we have there which is going to be the current frame one button then it's going to control this which is the current timeline and we're gonna go minus five on the first one because that one does negative and I'm gonna just copy all of that and change it to my current frame or current frame two button and that will go plus five so I can just take off the minus so let's take a look at this now we should be able to go forward five frames and back now you'll notice that there will be some problems here but we'll fix those in other tutorials so save your work here and go on